What's up viewers, this is going to be my top 10 pit bike brand video. Hopefully this helps anybody looking to buy a pit bike in the future. Keep in mind, all these bikes are um, kind of Chinese bikes, so they all got the same quality standards. Maybe not the, the top three, but we'll see what happens. Leave your comments, opinions, I'd like to hear them. Please leave a like and subscribe if this video helps you at all. So for number 10 on our list, we have X-Pro. X-Pro is a cheaply made bike and you can get them for roughly six to $900 on online websites. Uh, we just needed a number 10 spot. They're pretty good to learn on, so that's number 10. At our number nine spot, we have Taltel. Taltel is pretty much the same as X-Pro. They're pretty hard to place, but we have them here. Um, these Tau Tau's are pretty cheaply made as well, and uh, big flaw to these, the same as the X-Pro, or the uh, bolts all come loose after a couple rides, so keep that in mind. They're good to learn on, but that's at our number 9 spot. At our number 8 spot, we have Apollo. Pa this is not an Apollo bike, so I'll upload a photo of Apollo, but um, Apollo is where you start to see some quality increase. I really like their bikes, they're pretty fun to learn on worked on a couple they seem to be pretty reliable but have the common chinese bike issues where bearings blow out stators fail tires pop chain pop you know it's chinese bike stuff but that's our number eight spot seven we have coolster coolster seems to be a pretty familiar brand and i'd say it's pretty much better than uh x pro and uh tau tau but in the same boat as apollo I've had a couple of their 125s, I've had a couple of their quads. They seem to be pretty reliable other than Chinese quad stuff like uh, chains pop and, you know, carb issues. But that's at our number seven spot. For number six, we have Baja. Uh, I put Baja higher than the other brands, but they've been around for quite some time. And um, I see on a couple of their models, they'll have a... Um, a box where it covers the air filter and that separates these from like jab bikes personally like you're out riding and you clog one of these up real good and you just keep riding it your motor oil is going to get all nasty and you're going to fry the piston so that's a good reason why a big reason why uh, most of these bikes smoke when you buy them used but um i think bajas are pretty reliable i've had a couple in the past and um compared to like I guess like X Pro, Coolster, and um, Tau Tau. They're definitely a big step up. Definitely no Honda or Kel X, but it is what it is. I picked up, well, my dad picked up a uh, 50cc Baja from Pep Boys years back once they sold them for like 800 bucks. Seems kind of steep, but man, that bike ran for over eight years and we seized the motor twice and unseized it ourselves. So, um, that, that proved some quality there, you know, hundred bucks a year we had it. So we ended up selling it and still ran when we sold it, but, um, who knows what happened to it. That's our number six spot. At our number five spot, we have SSR. SSR is another brand that also came a long way since they offer TR models now. They used to only offer these base models. Um, I'm sure Baja probably offers like a TR model as well, but um, I'm not too sure on that. Uh, I've owned a lot of SSRs in the past and I can confidently say that if you just keep up on the maintenance, these bikes will last you a good amount of time. Uh, the motors are pretty solid as long as you keep the oil clean. A uh, common issue would be probably just carb issues, uh, maybe chain pop if you don't keep an eye on it, and piston rings going out if you don't keep an eye on the oil as well. So um, just common Chinese bike problems, but these are definitely on the more solid end of the Chinese bike brand list. I'll upload a photo of my thumb star. It's up the mountains currently. I've had that bike for over three years now, and I can say they're pretty solid Chinese bikes, but they're technically Australian. Um, they're they're definitely solid pit bikes. I like their suspension. Once you get past the 125, you start to see some quality increase, like the one 125s, the 140s, and the 190s and stuff like that. But um, definitely solid bikes. They're, uh, they're coming a long way as well. Like, 
SSR and stuff like that, but bike's got plenty of power and I would definitely recommend a used thumb star if you find one for a good deal. For number three, we have YFC. YFC offers a great variety of bikes and I'd just say they've they definitely make some pretty track ready bikes and um, they're definitely not a bad brand to go with if you're trying to get more serious into pit biking, whatever you call it. But um, definitely a good brand, check them out. For number nine, we have Piranha. Piranha has been around for a good amount of time and the reason they're pretty high on this list is because whenever I'd be out riding and somebody was out on a Piranha, they'd never break down or they'd never really have any problems and they always just look like solid bikes. So. I'm sure if you went out and bought a brand new Piranha, they'd probably be really nice. At our number one spot, we have Pitster Pro. Pitster Pro definitely makes some nice bikes, especially our 190 models. They're really fast and zippy. I've been trying to get my hands on one for a while, but uh, people just want an arm and a leg for them on Marketplace. They really think they can get retail for these bikes. Um, one thing definitely to mention before you buy one of these bikes is... They lose the resale value like that. As soon as you buy it, you lost maybe $1,000, at least brand new. Uh, used, you definitely have a better better chance buying them used for a better deal. But um, Pitster Pro is at our number one spot. They're definitely solid Chinese bikes. Uh, I really like how they offer dual exhaust. I wish, I wish I could add that on these bikes. I definitely can, but I'm lazy. I got to start looking that up, but... That's so cool that it comes factory like that. That's not why it's number one, but it's number one because they make good bikes, especially the 190 models. Um, definitely trying to get my hands on one just to really give it a real test. But other than that, the reviews on the bike are phenomenal. Um, some of them obviously get some bad reviews, but that's with any bike. But that's at our number one spot. Hope you enjoyed out in the comments just realize this video is based on my opinion with the experiences i had with each bike the top three bikes i've never owned or really ridden i've ridden a couple pitster pros but i've never owned them so uh i would place thumpstar a little bit higher but i don't know that that's i'd say top th top four is pretty good for that spot but uh let me know what you guys think in the comments that i do a good job on this list i know there's obviously a bunch of other pit bike brands that i didn't mention but I just didn't think they were even worth mentioning. Like X Pro was one of them, but to f for a full top 10 pit bike list, you know, maybe I should do a top five or something. Let me know in the comments.